In the beginning of the movie we see a man named Ferret, who just wakes up and we hear from the background that he has been sleeping for a long time. Then, we hear his mom who gets excited for him waking up. She calls his father and tells him that she loves him. Then the scene shifts and we see Ferret sitting alone alongside the window when his mother comes there and he asks her about others. We'll come to know later in the movie whom he was asking about. Then we are taken a year back in Istanbul. There, we see that Ferret used to run an ad agency that was about to be enclosed. He was arguing with his colleagues and one of them named, Melda, who was his close friend tells him that the newspapers are not that much popular now, and their last job may be their final project. Ferret then realizes that he'll have to shut the agency and apologizes his colleagues and tells them he owes them and stayed a lot of money, and he'll pay them back. Then we see Ferret and Melda who are packing their stuff from the agency building. Melda tells him that she is going with her boyfriend to a festival and asks him to join them. But Ferret says that he is not in the mood to go to any festival but she persuades him to come. Do they move out of the shop and Melda tells him that if he manages to have good relation with Sir Hat, who was her boyfriend, he can lend him money and tells him about Bitcoin. Firstly, Ferret denies to take money but suddenly shows interest in Bitcoin, and Melda offers him coffee on seeing it. In the next scene, we see Sirhat who is always on his phone in car with Melda and Ferret. Melda and Ferret make fun of Sirhat as he is always busy on his phone talking about his money. They reach at the place of festival. Melda comes to meet Ferret, when he comes to know that they are here for meditation from Sirhat and gets angry on Melda for not telling him about this. Sirhat asks him to follow as she says, Ferret, Melda and Sirhat join the class. Both Sirhat and Ferret were getting bored by the things that yoga teacher was telling them. Then, they are introduced to the singers, Lydia and Yusuf, who were there to sing songs for them. Lydia sings a Sanskrit spiritual song and the teacher translates the song for new students. Ferret gets interested in the girl who was singing. After the class we see Melda, Sirhat and Ferret walking on beach. Ferret and Sirhat tell Melda that they didn't understand any of the things from class and make fun of it. They both laugh at her and she gets mad at the end. He then sees Lydia, while was talking to her mother and ends up arguing with her to leave her on herself. After the call she throws her phone angrily. Ferret was seeing this all and helps her find her phone. He takes her number to help her. After that Yusuf comes there and Melda introduces Yusuf to Ferret. After that Yusuf and Lydia leave from there. Later, we see Ferret walking alone on the beach when Sirhat arrives there and tells that there is no meat on the menu during the whole camp. In the morning, they three go to practice yoga. Ferret gets excited to see Lydia there, which increases his interest in yoga. During yoga, Ferret and Lydia both make eye contact with each other and seem interested in each other. Then, we see all of the camp practicing yoga on different places. Then the scene shifts towards night where yoga teacher shows them a sign and tells them about history and stars. She then tells them that now it's the time to say them goodbye and she'll see them again on Doom of Love. Then we see Ferret and Sirhat who were again unaware of what the teacher said. At the end, Lydia sings a song. In the next scene, we see Melda, Ferret and Sirhat in car. Ferret saves Lydia's number and thinks about her. Ferret then calls Sirhat and asks her for the loan. Sirhat says that he can pay him 10,000 but Melda agrees him for 30,000 and Ferret thanks them for the favor. In the next scene, we see Ferret sitting in his apartment when he receives his mother's call and a person named Irfan comes to see him. He tells Ferret to meet him in the office. Irfan works in a drugs company and offers him a job. Irfan agrees Ferret for the job and asks him to pack his bag for the meeting they are going to attend. In the next scene we see Ferret in the meeting where he shows no interest. After meeting, Ferret sees and Yusuf in the same building singing a song. They all look at each other. After that, they greet each other and have a meal together. They discuss their second encounter and ask Ferret about his previous work and the current job. He tells them that all he is trying to do is to make an income. After that they tell him that they have a small gig at night and he can join them but he says that at night company has a meeting. Before leaving, Lydia asks him to come at night. In the evening, we see Ferret who receives a call from Melda. He tells her about Lydia and company's meeting and she tells him to follow his heart. Then, the scene shifts and we see that Ferret goes to the party where Yusuf and Lydia were singing. After party they have drinks together and chat with each other. Ferret keeps them telling about his goals. Later they leave for restaurant to have sandwiches because they felt hungry. In the morning we see Lydia and Yusuf talking about their next work. They ask Ferret to join them, because he was free, and he agrees to come with them. In the next scene we see that Ferret receives a call from Irfan and tells him that he is quitting the job. Ferret then join Lydia and Yusuf. They travel to different places for singing songs and enjoy their journeys. During one party, Ferret gets into fight with a man as he was misbehaving with Lydia. Do they all run from there to their house back? Upon reaching the house, Lydia introduces Ferret to her dog, Massim. In the morning, we see a car that stop outside their house. A man comes out of the car and asks Ferret about, Banu. He gets confused and says he is mistaken when all of a sudden Lydia comes out. This man appears to be Lydia's father, who came there to take her with him. Lydia goes on side with her father. Both Yusuf and Ferret keep watching them from far. Lydia's father disrespects them both and she asks him not to do this. Yusuf presents him tea which he denies to take but later accepts. He asks Lydia to either sit in car or she doesn't belong to them anymore. She denies to go with him which infuriates him and he 
goes away throwing tea and breaking the cup. In the night, we see Lydia singing sorrowfully. Then the scene shifts and we see Lydia, Furet and Yusuf on beach. They all have a good time on beach and we see them enjoying swimming in ocean. Later Lydia tells them the story of women who traveled the world and now lives here to save Kerta Kerdas, which are tortoise. After that, they leave from there. In the evening, we see Furet and Yusuf sitting and sharing drinks. On asking Yusuf tells Furet that he met with Lydia through his girlfriend Alif. He tells him that his girlfriend has died due to sudden illness and they were in relationship for a long time. He says that his mourning for her is unending, and his all friends except Lydia left due to this. He asks Furet about his feelings for Lydia, but he doesn't tell him. Then Lydia arrives there and asks Yusuf to sing her favorite song that he wrote for Alif. Later, we see Lydia and Furet on beach. She tells him that she has never fallen in love and asks the same question to Furet who tells her he feels butterflies in his stomach, and his body acts strangely. Later, Lydia makes him realize that one-sided efforts don't make love or relationship work. Then they see a falling star and makes their wishes. In the morning, on their way to next destination, Furret sees the same sign as the yoga teacher showed them in the beginning of the movie. They follow the signs and reach the place where they meet yoga teacher. She tells them not to talk with her as they were on silent retreat for a week and asks them to either stay or leave. Both Yusuf and Furret agree to stay because Lydia wanted this. Then we see Lydia and Furret spending time together and during this week of silence retreat they get very close to each other. One evening, they both sit together and after realizing their feelings for each other, they kiss each other and spend their time hugging. In the morning, yoga teacher tells them that they can talk now and are free to go. Lydia, Furet and Yusuf continue their journey and sing a Turkish song. After singing song, Yusuf asks them whether they are dating or not. They both get embarrassed as Yusuf tells them that he has seen them kissing. They were talking about this when suddenly a truck runs into their car and an accident occurs. Then, the scene shifts to the beginning of the movie where Furet is sitting on his bed sadly. He picks his laptop and comes to know that Yusuf died in their accident. In the next scene, we hear Furet's mother talking about Corona. We see Furet sitting with Sirhat and Meldit and tells them he wants to find Lydia. They try to make him understand the situation of lockdown but he says he knows about her father and he'll go to him and ask him to meet Lydia once. Melda and Sirhat agree to help him and they give him their car and lend him some money to find his love. Furet goes to Ankara and reaches outside the company of Lydia's father. Guards doesn't let him enter, but he tells his driver that he wants to talk about Lydia. Driver takes him to Lydia's father. Lydia's father doesn't allow him to meet her and warns him to not try to see her again. He calls guards to get Furet out but Furet himself goes out saying he has hurt his daughter the most. In the evening, we see Lydia's father leaving for house and we see Furet, who was waiting for him to leave, he starts following his car. He reaches a house. He keeps waiting and one day sees Lydia coming out of the car and going inside building with her mother. Furet also enters the building and they both look at each other. Lydia's mother lets them spend some time together. They talk about Yusuf and mourn his death. Lydia tells him that he called him many times. She also tells him that doctor said to her she'll not be able to walk again yet she managed to get better. After that, Lydia's mother asks Furet to stay away from their daughter. On leaving, Lydia asks Furet to not end what they started here. In the next scene, we see that Lydia again comes to the same place but as she enters the washroom, Furret comes there and they both kiss each other. Next we see, Furret takes Lydia to his car hiding from guard but he sees them and tries to stop. Furret beats him and they run away from there. They continue their journey to the place where they spent silent retreat week. They reach there and Lydia meets both yoga teacher and her dog, Massam. Later they go the place where they kissed each other during that week. In the morning, we see Lydia and Furet on beach. Lydia comes running carrying pillows and gets on the back of Furet and after that they both lie down on the bank of ocean. Then, the scene shifts and we see that yoga teacher brings them to mountains. They ask her and she tells them that it's their place of dreams. After reaching there, they see Yusuf with Masim waiting for them. They both hug him and are shocked to see him. Furet asks him that he had died and he says yes I died. Furry then realizes that they both are dead too. Then, the scene shifts to accident with Furet's voice in the background saying that the end of life is the beginning of S new journey. Then, we hear some beeping sounds that stop suddenly showing the death and Furet closes his eyes. Then scene shifts and we see Furet and Lydia running and enjoying in a beautiful place, and the movie ends here. Make sure to check out our other interesting romance recaps. Have a great day ahead.